Hello, this is the Slow Food Survivalist. In the following video, I will shortly describe a relatively easy way to modify or make new GPX files describing your favorite waypoints in your GPS device. Every time you mark a new waypoint into your GPS, the device writes a GPX file containing the location of the waypoint and any information you may have written about it. Unfortunately, typing any significant information into the GPS, at least to the entry-level devices such as Garmin E-TREX 10, is truly annoying and time-consuming. And most of the people end up doing the same I'm doing here. Just giving the shortest possible name for the waypoint, in this case letter A. For a reason that will later become obvious, I also add a single digit to the comment area here. But anyway, the most common content of an average map of a GPS device is a bunch of little flags with a very vague descriptions or only a number or a letter. And it is almost impossible to remember the true nature of the places behind those random markings. Fortunately, modifying or preparing brand new GPX files at home is ridiculously easy. Just connect your GPS to your computer, open the Garmin folder, and next the GPX folder which, if you have ever saved any waypoints, should contain the corresponding GPX files. Garmin's naming system is based on the dates the files were created. And that is okay with the most recent files. But who remembers which one of those, for example, October 2014 files is what? But let's continue and pick the waypoint I just created and open it. For an average GPS user, most of the content of the GPX file are uninteresting descriptions about the file itself. And for now, we can ignore this part and concentrate to the important parts, which are of course the location of the waypoint, latitude, longitude and elevation. The name of the waypoint, in this case letter A, and the comment, in this case number 1. This comment section appears here only if you have written something into the comment area while marking the waypoint. You can of course manually type these CMT limiters, but just by giving a short comment such as number 1 to your GPS, it will add this comment section for you. If you were standing at the waypoint while saving it, as most of the people most often do, you can leave the location information intact and move to the next piece of important information, which is the name that will be visible on the screen of your GPS. Just replace this A with a short descriptive name, in this case Camp 1. Then write a description of the place into the comment area. This campsite is located next to a beautiful small lake with drinkable water, but due to decades of use there is not too much dry firewood right next to the site. Next thing is to replace Garmin's default blue flag with an appropriate symbol, in this case the tent symbol named campground. Then just click Save As, rename the GPX file to something meaningful and save it back to your GPS. Don't forget to delete the old GPX file for the same location. Disconnect your GPS from the computer. And this is how the new waypoint looks on Garmin e 10. And when you click the waypoint, 
you get the information you just typed into your new GPX file. That was it for a single existing waypoint. However, sometimes it would be nice to be able to add new waypoints at home. Unfortunately, the entry-level GPS devices only let you mark new waypoints at your current location. So, in order to create new waypoint without actually visiting the place, it is necessary to find correct coordinates some other way. The easiest way to get reliable coordinates is to use your own GPS for that. Just move the arrow on your GPS map to the point of interest and read the coordinates from the top of the screen. Or if you are worried about accidentally moving the arrow, click once and you will see just the coordinates on the screen. Then just open a random GPX file. I have one named template.gpx for this purpose. And replace latitude, longitude and elevation values with the values from the screen of your GPS. Type new name and description, choose an appropriate symbol and save the file with a new name to your GPS. Here I made three new GPX files giving instructions of how to go to Camp 1. In case any of my friends wish to go there, I can just email them four GPX files about one kilobit each and they can load them to their own GPS devices. The first waypoint is named Camp 1 Start and marked with a restricted area symbol due to the fact that the road is not drivable during the winter, as can be seen in the description. The next spot is a crossing symbol advising to turn right. To the left the road gets very very bad. And the third point is the place to leave the car and continue with rubber boots. There are also some nasty swamps to the south of the route to the camp 1. And the final point is the camp itself. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.